Hey folks, Dr. Bob McCauley, my cancer protocol, part four. So part one and two of my cancer protocol is start drinking a lot of water. We're gonna kill everything in the digestive tract, tabla rasa, clear the clear this tablet of the digestive tract, kill everything, and then we're gonna put in back in the friendly bacteria. Then the next part is we're gonna detoxify. We're gonna start getting all the things out of the body that don't belong there. The next thing is to move to a plant-based diet. What I mean by that is become a vegan. Stop eating meat, fish, eggs, or dairy. You know, they're secondary food sources. You're eating the food that's already eaten the plant. You know, most of the food, most of the, the animals that we eat, they're vegetarians. Chickens and, and uh, beef and uh, pork, they're all vegetarians. So they're just eating plants or whatever that's fed to them, and then they assimilate it and they turn it into flesh, and then we eat the flesh. So there's really nothing there, you're kind of just like a middleman. You're just kind of getting nutrients from a secondary source, and it's very inefficient for the body. You know, you're much more easy for the body to just get it from the plants and directly take it in and absorb the nutrients it needs. Now, the most common question asked when you tell people, uh, you know, move to a plant-based diet, vegan diet, is where am I going to get my protein? Well, you're going to get them right here, spraline and chlorella. <laughs> Those are the two most powerful foods in the world. As I said countless times on this channel, they have the broadest array of nutrients and they are the most nutritionally dense foods in the world. But they have 60% protein, so it's just a small handful of either spirulina or chlorella. With every meal, that's all the protein you need for that meal. This can be a really difficult thing for people to give up something they love so much, meat. I mean, I understand that. You know, I was a vegetarian, I uh, became a vegetarian, I should say, in India in 1980. And it was just because I couldn't find any meat, so I ended up, uh, you know, just becoming a vegetarian and it just kind of stuck with me. So it's hard to give up things that you really love, but you have a serious health challenge here, cancer, and there is no more serious health challenge than cancer. It's the toughest disease the body has to fight. It's the toughest disease to defeat, and you got to get serious. So one of the things you got to do is stop eating meat, fish, eggs, or dairy. Dairy is at the top of my list for things to get rid of. Why? Because dairy has IGF, insulin-like growth factor. That's what makes you grow. It makes you grow as a child. Well, when you take it and you have cancer and you keep eating dairy products, well, you know, that makes the cancer grow. And that is not what we want. So part four of my cancer protocol, switch over to a vegan diet, plant-based diet. Start using spirulina and chlorella. That's about all you'd need right there for a meal. You're looking for about three grams, and then these are 250 milligram tablets, so that's like 12 tablets. That's a very small amount of food because it's just food in tablet form. So you're only getting around, you know, just like a couple grams of protein. Yep, that's all you need for your protein for, for a particular meal is about two, two grams of protein. So protein, a very misunderstood uh, nutrient, I'd say the most misunderstood uh, nutrient, a lot of people think we need huge amounts of meat. Uh, neat, meat should be at the center of our, our plate and all this kind of stuff. It just is something that definitely is needed by the body, but it shouldn't be such a huge portion of it. But here you're getting 60% in a food like this, spirulina and chlorella, you can't beat that. Part four of my cancer protocol, switching to a plant-based diet and using spirulina and chlorella for your protein. Boy, I'm telling you something, you're going in 100% the opposite direction from the cancer when you do something like that. Give up the animal protein, give up the meat, and start eating spirulina and chlorella. Dr. Bob, see you next time.